Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This little one won't let me film it without her, so I guess she's gonna be a part of this journey. Um, this is my first video, so I'm sure it's gonna be super awkward and um, not so professionally shot, but bear with me. Um, this channel will provide you a lot of value as I have so many tips I would like to share with you uh, regarding entrepreneurial lifestyle and having online businesses and um, making passive income happen and all that stuff but today i will be showing you some tips on how to pass an interview how to pass really any interview and it really comes down to seven tips i have them here on my laptop so i'm gonna be uh looking so i'm gonna be referring to that but um let's let's begin so the first step in my opinion obviously it's a resume you're gonna have a lot of competition when you apply and obviously it's going to be hard to even get picked among all those pdfs that you you know that the hiring person will see in their inbox so in order for you to stand out um you have to make your resume the following your resume has to be no longer than one page in my in my opinion because no one really reads your resume um, should be more of a bullet point structure rather than your skills listed with a comma because again it is hard to read when you just list all your skills um, in one giant paragraph i would suggest breaking it down your resume should also be a reflection of a job description and this is the golden 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 rule of passing an interview is really being a solution to their problem the company puts out the job description it means they have a problem that they're looking to solve so you just should just become a solution to their problem and you should state it clearly in your resume the next step would be you need to use modern template, okay? Enough of these boring, just plain text resumes. You need to go to Pinterest and look up modern resume templates. I will have another video probably showing you how to create a modern resume, so I will have a link down below. The second, all right, she wants to go now. Tip number two, you have to do research about the company. You have to find out when the company was founded, uh, you know, what, what cool have they done and just compliment or just show the person who, a person who's going to be interviewing you that you know about the company. You have to be yourself. You have to be yourself in the interview and stop being nervous. We in a piece of rock in the middle of nowhere. It's not a big deal. I'm talking about the planet Earth. It's not a big deal. You don't matter. The company doesn't matter. Nothing matters, really. So you have to be yourself stop being nervous step number four interview them it's not good usually when interview is being led by the company when they asking you all those questions and you just basically answering them like a robot and that's it you have to interview them you just if they get if there's going to be a point in time in the interview where they're going to say do you have any questions for us then that's when you will go and ask those questions if you feel like the interview is wrapping up and they still haven't asked that question you should ask you should tell them hey um i have some questions for you do you mind if i'm gonna ask you some questions and ask them about culture this is such an awesome question to ask it shows that you're not some desperate person who will work to for who will work for whatever company is available out there but you're someone that has a lot of value and you're someone for whose co company's culture is super important you can comment about your prior experiences you can comment how much of a contribution you were towards um companies a company's culture you you worked at last etc so you really need to know what kind of company you're working for what kind of policies do they have etc so ask them about company culture it's a really good question step number five smile and crack a joke if you can smile 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 uh just show that beautiful positive energy that they will get to have if they were to hire you you know make a joke if you can if you can if you can make the person who's interviewing you laugh it's going to be only good because you automatically bring them on your side you guys will become basically friends so 
you that humor really really helps but if it doesn't come up don't force it because it could be awkward right but if it does come up take an opportunity to make a joke it always helps step number six is your mindset you have to understand that you shouldn't be worried because there's nothing to lose you didn't have that job before so there's nothing for you to lose you just have to be relaxed and be yourself and continue on with an interview but still have a very strong belief that you're gonna pass it you know just pretend that you've already been working there for a month and now you're just catching up with hr that's it so step number seven it's a tricky one what if you've done everything you could and you've smiled and you cracked a joke and you were charming and you've asked questions and the person that you're interviewing is still very dry you know scary intimidating people some people are like that so what I do in those situations if I can't get through that person I pretend that I know that they have a puppy at home they have the cutest puppy and I imagine them cuddling with that puppy it's the weirdest weirdest thing ever but it what helps me is to see their other side even if the other side doesn't exist it helps me to be less intimidated by them i'm thinking well they might not have might not have had enough coffee or you know they're tired they don't care about their job etc etc but pretending that i see the other side of them uh being like the sweetest dog mom or dog dad ever makes me fear them less so i really suggest you if you were if you are intimidated of someone just imagine them cuddling with the puppy and intimidation goes away so that's what i suggest so with that in mind remember that you are power you are this precious resource a company is trying to find to fulfill their need know that you are very valuable and i'll see you in my next video bye go crush it <sighs> why is it so hard to record a youtube video